Okay, so here's video four um, of my Harry Potter collection. So this is the top shelf of my books. Here you have um, the, I call it the Japanese style uh, Harry Potter books um, because it's a very kind of oriental look to the, um, the Hogwarts castle. This is actually my wedding present from my husband. How wonderful is that? Right, so up here we have Harry Station Reset, which is really pretty. I used to collect a lot of these when I was a kid. And then down here. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. And then I have little Hogwarts stickers and Hogwarts paper, Harry Potter paper there. So that was really nice. I, did, I can't remember when I had that, but it wasn't that long nice. ago. Okay, so we have this. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. There we are. So that's nice. Okay, we have Harry Potter calendar, Harry Potter stamps. Um, Oh, the Harry Potter Lego game, which is in the attic. Um, cast and crew screening of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And it's cast and crew screening of Prisoner of Azkaban. Hogwarts game again. Um, photos. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's my mum. I, for some of you who don't know, my mum passed away two years ago. <laughs> my daughter, Monica, my sister, Nadine, and me. Who's that? Oh, it's Daniel, my eldest son. Look how young he looks. Wow, you would hate for me to show people that. Oh, undesirable number ones. <laughs> My family. Then we have first a book night. Uh, first news, Harry Potter book night. Uh, National Library Trust. I love things like this. Hogwarts facts and stats. There we are. Who's who in Harry Potter? I think you meant to take that middle part out. Wow, Empire, 2008, obviously there's Harry down there. Um, 2012, this has probably got something Harry Potterish in it. Empire Magazine, 2001. As you know, I like my magazine. My Hermione Granger file artifacts box. This was my daughter's, she gave it to me. I haven't really looked in here properly. Scrolls Love Potion Bottle. That was a gift from my husband. It's a mini uh, Marauder's Map inside there. Um, there's lots of little bits in there. But Cookie's Calling. Obviously J.K. Rowling's pen name. We've got a 3D model of Hogwarts. Um, there's a little Harry Potter figure in there, but this downstairs in the cabinet somewhere. These Hogwarts books are by Mina Lima. Um, never used them, but they are lush. This one as well. This one. And then I have a Hogwarts journal, is it? Yeah. There's an American version. It's nice, that is. And then I have these. This is Chamber of Snow Goblet of Fire artwork. Uh, 885 of 2000. I won't go through them. 
they're quite delicate. Fantastic Beast poster book. Harry Potter poster sticker annual. Harry Potter poster sticker annual 2008. Harry Hogwarts journal with all the stickers. More in the back, isn't there? No. Magical Scenes pop up book, which has seen better days. Yes. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone deluxe pop up book. These are lovely, I love the pop up books. It's beautiful. So pretty. This one's in, in brilliant condition. But I am very, very good with my stuff. I do like, I do try my best to look after them. I love that. Look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Illustrated Edition by Jim Kay. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Illustrated Edition by Jim Kay. I can't. Radio Times, Harry Potter, November 2001. Oh, I love this one. Radio Times, Harry, Harry Christmas. Boxing Day is Harry Potter Day. Have a wizard time. December 2000. Wow. These, Chamber of Secrets. Emma Watson. Woman in Black, Daniel Radcliffe. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I think that's just an advertising poster. Harry's back in Goblet of Fire. Sorry, somebody's beeping their horn outside. Prison of Azkaban. Not 100% sure what that is. But I think I got sent that. Harry. A beautiful piece of artwork. When my mum passed away, um, a friend of ours for, uh, called Claire sent an email to Warner Brothers Shoes because she works in the production companies um, for different TV networks. And they sent this and a little note to say how sorry they were that my mum had passed away. Dear all friends and family of Sue Whiting, sending our condolences and thoughts at this very hard time. Please find and close a souvenir guidebook in memory of Susan. We hope to welcome you back to the tour soon. Now, come on, how many places would do something as beautiful as that? I did email them and say how wonderful it was for them to send us this and that we were just so touched that they did anything at all. In the Harry Potter Studios, you can get a pop-up card with sound effects howler and you can actually do your own voice. It's 15 second recording. This was my first Christmas card off my husband. Uh, Harry Potter Gallery. That is Gallery Launch. What's, oh, and Time Magazine, that was the first magazine that showed Harry in America. Um, it's actually, the I, when I went to the studios, they show this on um, where they talk about Harry Potter in the beginning and where it all started. And as soon as I saw the picture, I had to try and find a copy online and it only cost me a couple of pounds. So I was well chuffed. Deathly Hallows. It's another sticker album. Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters journey to Hogwarts. It's like a little colouring book. Um, that was from my bank. They actually gave that to me. <laughs> um, and inside Hogwarts, another little colouring book. But I think with these, the colours are inside the book, aren't they? Yes, that's the colours for the book. So you actually use those colours. It's bizarre. And um, you just wet them. It's magic. Uh, homes and holidays. Oh, there we are. Step inside the world of Harry Potter. This was the first, I think, one of the first times that the um, the Harry Potter studio was announced and shown. And then you've got Prison of Azkaban, holographic book. Which I love. Um, I think I've already shown you that one. Big Issue. Transfiguration book. Um, it can you can turn the pages and it it shows you it's not in the best condition this one it looks okay but I think parts of it are a little bit delicate so I'd rather not touch it to be honest 
they're not made to last and this was actually one that I bought um, yeah um, I've got the floating pen where's the pen gone I have a floating pen for this not sure where it is I got a Hogwarts what I've got this is sent to me by this was given to me by my friend Aled Thank you, Alet. My mum and me at Hogwarts the last time we went. Um, Fantastic Beasts, uh, Mina Lima advertising decorations. I love their designs, that's why I've got them. I love Mina Lima stuff. <laughs> You're a keeper, my husband. God. So this is the Marauders Mat game that I showed you in the first video. This tells you how to do it. So I've got the instructions, which is actually nice to know that I actually kept the instructions. Okay, my platform nine and three quarters picture. Mm -hmm. I waited 45 minutes to take that photo. I couldn't believe how long the queue was. It was crazy. And then me and my husband, Adam. Oh, right. Okay. I don't know. Um, I'm not 100% sure what to do with this or... It is a piece of artwork, hand-drawn art, of uh, one of the dragons from the Harry Potter books. Um, I bought it at auction for a charity um, from my friend Johnny Blue, who actually is friends with J.K. Rowling, can you believe it? So there we are, that's the Hungarian Horntail. And there's the artist's signature down there. Harry Potter uh, and the and the Deathly Hallows Part Two poster. Harry Potter watch. Andrew Price Swan Spoon. I have Hogwarts tin. And it is full of the trading card game cards that were given to me by my friend Steve which he actually has a load more for me, but every time I go to the shop, he can't find. <laughs> There's the floating pen. Harry Potter cutlery. Which needs a really good clean. A Hermione Granger poster. I have a rare mosaic of Um, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I'm actually on here twice. Not 100% sure where I am, but here. It's somewhere around here. Nope. Can't see me. But I'm up here somewhere. And I'm down here somewhere. For some reason, only 5,000 of these posters were made, and I got sent five. Um, I have no idea why. I sold one, gave one to auction for um, to Lumos Charity, uh, gave another one to my friend in America, gave another one to my sister, and I kept one. So, um, yeah. There we are, Andrew Price, Hogwarts Chalice. If you are going to have one of these, don't put it on display. It sounds really silly, but they are silver plated and they tarnish really easily. So if you go to clean that silver, eventually you will wipe it off um, and you'll be exposed to the brass or the copper underneath. This part is made of pewter and it depicts Harry, Ron and Hermione, the Quidditch, uh, sorry, the Golden Snitch, um, the wand, you've got Norbert the dragon there. It's like a little Hogwarts tail, it is. It's really beautiful. Oh, you have. You've got keys. Hogwarts, obviously, the crest. You've got Bertie Bots, every flavour beans. You've got Trevor. You've got Harry's acceptance letter. You've got to Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs. You've got Norbert's egg. Scabbers, you've got the coins. 
Um, it's quite hard to see through this I'm looking through the camera, obviously keys there. And then you've got brooms at the bottom, as you can see, there's the brooms. There's the flute that Hagrid gives Harry for his birthday that he uses, I think. Oh no, there's the golden snitch, look there. Um, that he uses to um, make Fluffy go to sleep. So that's probably the Philosopher's Stone, actually. I'm not 100% sure. There's Hedwig, there. It is an absolutely beautiful piece to have. It is really, really lovely. But if you're going to get it, as I said, please be careful. Please keep it hidden away in packaging. Otherwise, you will it will get tarnished and it'll get ruined. So, But it is a beautiful piece of memorabilia. Another Chamber of Secrets scarf that was handed out um, for the Chamber of Secrets film, uh, obviously years ago now. Um, all my children have one, so we've got two. Okay, here we have, um, have you seen this wizard poster? I have the um, uh, call sheet for Deathly Hallows Part 2 shoot in Scotland. I should have another one somewhere, I don't know where it is. That's the Scottish one. No. Yeah, this is the right one. This is the one we had from, it's a copy of the one we were given when we were on the set of Deathly Hallows. Um, he couldn't give us the one that they'd had for that day, so he gave us one that he'd had a couple of days before. Daily Prophet newspaper sheet. Quibbler. Another Quibbler. They're so colourful, aren't they? I love the work that they do. Harry Potter Undesirable Number One poster. Again, the Quibbler. Harry in hiding. Where is the chosen one? Daily Prophet, The Boy Who Lies. Undesirable number one, Pibla. Again, more covers. Azkaban poster with Bellatrix. Wanted, Have You Seen This Witch? I don't know where I got them from. Then I have this one where the glasses actually come out. This painting was done for me. It's me as a Ravenclaw with my cat Patronus. <laughs> that from nine and three quarters bag. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows 3D poster. Hogwarts in the snow bag from the tour. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It was a lamp, but the lamp broke. Woolworths gift, card, gift cards. Making of Harry Potter bag. But the Masterworks um, graphic art collection of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It's a really lovely piece. Um, has lots of prints in there. Right. Here we are, Certificate of Authenticity, number 652 of 200, 2500. One of these is missing because it's signed by Dawn French. You've already seen it in one of the previous videos. Um, it's quite hard to get these out, so I'm only going to take the top one off now. There we are. They are beautiful. These were sold to me by my friend Sue before she passed away a couple of years back. Okay, drawer number two. Like that. These I need to send to Beverly. Better put some flavored beans. Again, a present for Beverly. That is a uh, Tom Riddle diary key ring but it's in there so that's from Loot Crate. Chamber of Secrets writing set. Um, it's actually that there. Bio World Platform 9 and 3 quarters socks again from Loot Crate. 
Ravenclaw beanie hat. A Ravenclaw duffel bag. We have scrolls uh, from the loot crate, which are all Harry Potter uh, related. And then there's the Wizarding World. I have all the loot crate boxes. Um, they're all in the attic. Drawers full of Harry Potter socks. Um, I've got Fantastic Beast socks there. Ravenclaw jacket. And Desire All Number One t shirt. I've got a Slytherin scarf. Fantastic Beasts bag. Okay, I had no idea how much I actually had Harry Potter clothes wise. So, Harry Potter tracksuit bottoms. Harry Potter t shirt. Another Harry Potter t shirt. Another Harry Potter t shirt. Fantastic Beasts t shirt. Harry Potter t-shirt, my mum's Gryffindor scarf she's wearing in the photograph when we last went to the studios, Harry Potter t-shirt, Harry Potter t-shirt, Harry Potter bottoms, you've got the Harry Potter Hogwarts logo there, Fantastic Beasts, Oh, they are, I love these, I wear these as normal trousers, but they are the Harry Potter Marauders map ones. Um, I've got like three or four pairs of these bottoms, I do wear them as normal trousers. My always t-shirt. Um, the top that goes with the grey bottoms. Another top. Fantastic Beasts. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, some of these things obviously still got tags on, I've never worn them. Harry Potter, Fantastic Beasts, Harry Potter, my mum's Harry Potter jumper, I love my Niffler, my Niffler, Hogwarts t-shirt, Harry Potter, and these are my Loot Crate t-shirts, obviously, my Snape, a New York ghost, and then the latest one from Loot Crate. Ah, Fantastic Beasts. So it's that one. Uh, and then I have my um, Cursed Child jumper I bought when I went there last month or the month before. Um, I have my Queenie jacket I bought from EMP. It's beautiful. I just haven't had a chance to wear it out yet, but it is beautiful. Harry Potter jumper, uh, Harry Potter t-shirt, sorry. Two pairs of Harry Potter trousers. <clears throat> my Ravenclaw hoodie. My pyjama top. My official Ravenclaw school jumper from the studios. Uh, cardigan, sorry, and then my school jumper from the studios. My One of my favourite Harry Potter tops. Love that top. Ravenclaw t-shirt, which has seen better days. I love these. Wandered and extremely dangerous, Fantastic Beasts. My Niffler top from Primark, isn't he so cute? Um, over here we have more it's just I, I'm trying to find stuff that I can get to now I've got shoes um, more shoes slippers more slippers got my high tops I love my high tops my red shoes more slippers pajamas I've got my um, satin Harry Potter pajamas I've got the bottoms to that Fantastic Beast top, the top to the leggings, their Gryffindor bottoms, even though there's nothing on them saying Harry Potter except I think maybe the label. No. Um, what else have I got? I've got another Harry Potter top there, Don't Let the Muggles Get You Down top, another pair of bottoms with Fantastic Beast bottoms. That's the Gryffindor top that goes with those checked bottoms. Um, I've got a lot of uh, 
sleepy ones. Oh, my Lumos top that I had to wear as a pyjama top because it came with a big hole in it. But I didn't send it back because it was for charity at the end of the day. Um, another pair of leggings. Uh, this is inside out, but you can just about make out that it's the Harry Potter. And that's from Peacocks, that was. It's a men's size medium. I think that's that's it of that drawer. Gryffindor knitted scarf. That is actually an official one, apparently, but uh, it didn't come with anything. Uh, my Ravenclaw uh, gloves there. I also have a three-quarter length sleeve of the Fantastic Beast top. I just showed you a shorter version. I got my Cursed Child t-shirt. And I got one of my favourite Harry Potter tops. I love that. Over here I have my bedspread and my pillows. Um, this is the bedspread. This isn't my favourite one. My favourite one is the Marauder's Map one. Um, but this is the one that's on the bed at the moment. I have my light there. Oh, it's not turned on at the moment. I've got my owl light. I have my Niffler. Isn't he just so gorgeous? And then I have the Japanese Niffler. This is the first Niffler to have been produced. He is an official one, but he looks terrible. I have Pigwigian. I have another Owl. I have Hedwig. I have Buckbeak. Another Pigwigian. This is from Loot Crate. Hermione, Harry, Scabbers from Retro Styler. I have the Hungarian Horntail. I have another Hedwig there, but that's from Waterstones. I have a handmade Harry there, Teddy. I have Forks. And I have Hedwig. So that's... The back of my bed. I've been thinking I've got a load of um because I do a lot of promotional work for people a uh, carrot shop being one of them I have got bags of carrot shop uh, charms but the problem is I've got no idea what I've done with them and I've got them because I've shown them all on my page right this is my charm bracelet from carrot shop these are sterling silver charms they are not cheap to buy um, none of these have been given to me as a gift from Carrot Shop. They only give me the uh, the other items. These have all been either bought by me or my kids or my husband. So they have a really, they have sentimental value in big respects. It is heavy, but I absolutely love it. I have the necklace that goes with this. Um, obviously, as you know, that's the last thing I bought with my mum. Um, I'm I'm wearing it now, but obviously I'm not going to show you. But uh, but yeah, so that's my bracelet. I love it. Things like uh, a golden snitch headband. I have my platform nine and three quarter earrings that I had from Carrot Shop. Ah, I miss these. Look at those. More high tops. I completely forgot I had them. They are so being worn. I love grey. I think my daughter picked these these up for me. They've still got the tags on, look. Uh, 